Welcome back to Prophetic Diary. I just want to say welcome to all my first time visitors. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button as we're happy to have you here. And also a lot of my viewers that view on the regular that you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe so that we could connect so that we can align with each other. And to all my subscribers, I want to say thank you um, for your likes, your comments and um, your words of encouragement. They mean as uh, much to me here. I appreciate all of my viewers, everyone that tunes in. You guys are a blessing to me. Everyone that sows into this ministry out of obedience may the god bless you this is good ground and um you know this this channel is just more than i can ask for and i'm just forever grateful you guys don't know how much um you keep me going the lord has given me a word today trust the process and i woke up at two o'clock this morning um and the lord said i was talking to him about some things that i was in need of and um, I felt some strings of impatient, you know, just being impatient, you know, was trying to pull on me. But, you know, I didn't want to doubt him. I don't like to get into a doubting phase. The God, is this true? Is this real? real? Show me a sign. I don't like to get into all of that. And he showed me a transaction machine where you can in Target or wherever you swipe your card and you could just see the little circle circling before it says approved. And he said, the circling motion is what you're feeling right now, what you're feeling in your spirit as heaven is meeting earth, as, you know, things are being processed. That's what you see and you're staring at and you can get impatient. And he's saying, no, I need you to look to me and keep your eyes on me. It, it's already approved. That transaction is already approved and you're going to be able to walk away with your goods and the things that I promised you. But in doing so, you have to know that there's a process and that, it's it's on my timing. So I said, OK, God, well, you know, I, I'm getting a little weary, a little tired sometimes in your timing on these things. But yes, yeah, shall I wait? So I looked up the definition in, of process and the one that I'm going to share. Many came up with this one. It says a process is a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. And as we know, we all have been been processed and we're going through, you know, our preparations and these different phases and these different stages. But as we remember in our December work, the Lord said that he was going to heighten us. He was going to December heights. He was going to take us higher in our thinking, higher in our spirituality, higher in our faith. So just follow me along, guys, because this is a good word, but it's going to take me time today to get into it. And the Lord is trying to heighten our faith and heighten our thoughts. And the only way that he can do that is by stretching us a little. Because like I said, these blessings are big. They're not some small blessings where you can talk and act and think like you used to. You can't handle these blessings how you used to. You can't talk to your husband like you used to talk to your ex-boyfriends. You can't talk, you know, at that new job. You can't walk around and just hang out like you used to at your old job. He's stretching you to a professionalism. And when you run this business, this new business he's giving you, you can't handle your money and your finances like you used to at, at when you didn't have your own business or when it was just, you know, you know, one income, you have to stretch yourself a little bit. And the Lord says, that's what you're feeling because I am as heaven is meeting earth as that transaction from heaven is coming through you because these blessings come through us. The Lord is trusting us with these blessings and with these promises that he promised us before we were in our mother's womb, these promises and these things to come forth, but they have to be processed through us. So while you see those little dots and you're waiting for it to say approved so that you can walk off with your items promised, you have to know that there's a process. And a lot of us are feeling that those dots just circling around and we're like, when are they ever going to stop and say approved? But that's not what the Lord has me to focus on today. He says, what you, you have to understand that the Holy Spirit is always working for you and working for us to bring these things about. And John 14 26 says, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit, who the father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. So in this waiting period, we know that the Holy Spirit is ministering to us and talking to us. And he's teaching us all the things and reminding us of all the things that the Lord says. And um, that helps us from get not getting impatient and 
keep on holding on to trust in the Lord and staying out of doubt. And um, one of the gentlemen here on the channel, he wrote me on Instagram yesterday. He said, you know, sometimes it get hard to pray because I'm just a little tired. And the only thing I could think of the time at the time to encourage him what to say is just keep your eyes on the Lord. Let's continue to seek the Lord and the kingdom and the things that he will have for us so that we're not so focused in, in our waiting period or while we're waiting on this. So the Lord simply sent me to here today to say, trust the process, trust the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit knows what it's doing. And in John 16, 13, it says, but we, the spirit of truth come. But when the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears and he will tell you what is yet to come. So we're not in the dark and we're not alone in these situations, no matter how alone we feel and no matter dark these times feel or, you know, you're just waiting. You're not waiting impatiently, but you're just sort of looking at the dots and you're like, okay, I'm waiting for this transaction from heaven to take place. I'm ready. I'm waiting for that phone call, that text message, that email. I'm waiting for that job. I'm waiting for that prodigal. I'm waiting to be married. I'm waiting to be loved. I'm waiting to be understood. When the Lord says it's already taken place, you already, you know, when we go to Target and when we go to buy something, we're not wondering, oh, if we know that the money there is there, then we, we're standing there we're not saying oh you know sometimes we can if it takes too long we could be like oh is, is there the money in my account oh man is this gonna go through but the lord says that i'm good i'm sufficient i'm good credit so why would you be standing at the machine thinking that it's not going to take place and you're not going to walk away with the things i've told you to and the things i promised or this promise is it going to come to pass if you know i'm good on heaven and the heaven and the transaction from heaven unto earth, you know it's going to come to pass. So you can rejoice. You can be happy. You can already start deciding what you're going to wear with that dress that you're purchasing because the transaction is already completed. And it's just a matter of time before you put it on. But the issue is we sometimes want things in our timing. And I am with you guys on this word. There is a stretching taking place in our faith. But the stretching is taking place place because these blessings aren't small we can't handle them like we used to handle old relationships and old friendships and we can't handle our money the way we used to he's stretching us and he's he's heightening our things he's making room for the good to come in because we can't mistreat it and um you know, I, you know, a lot of the comments are just saying like, well, I'm tired of waiting and well, we, we, okay, we're tired of waiting, but the holy, the verse just told us here that the Holy Spirit whom the Father will, will send in his name will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have said to you. So if God is constantly reminding us and telling us, like, if your bank is constantly telling you that the money is there, that you're good to go, why, why are you worried about you know, not having enough or a, a def, um, deficiency that it's not going to come to pass. You can rejoice. You can enjoy, enjoy because there's you can't doubt our God. You have to trust him and know that this is going to take take place in his good timing. But there is a process from heaven onto earth. There is a process that takes place. And, um, you know, there's the, the process is a series of actions taken in order to ach achieve a particular end. The Lord knows what he's doing. He knows the time that that transaction needs to be t taking place. He knows the digits, how they need to line up. He knows how the store needs to connect with your bank account by swiping that card. He knows the amount of time it's going to take before it says approved. He knows everything. And this goes back to a trust thing. And this goes back to a, we can't seek the Lord's um, we have to seek the Lord because we love him. We have to chase after him, not for what he can do for us, but because we love him and because we trust him, because we don't doubt him. He knows what he's doing at all times. And we just have to put our, our faith and trust in him, even when it doesn't feel good. And he's leading me to share this dream with you, with, which I had no intentions to in sharing. And maybe this word today isn't for everyone, but I'm just here to give a little bit of hope. You know what I mean? I had a dream that I was on the phone with the individual that I believe the Lord has told me is my husband. And we were talking and um, I was doing laundry and I was taking laundry out of the dryer and putting it into a basket. And the basket was sort of bent up. And he said to me over the phone, he says, hey, I'll be there in 10 minutes. Well, I said to him, I said in my head, why, why is he... Um, why is he saying he'll come to me? I thought the agreement was 
for me to go to him. And he's like, no, I'm going to come to you. And I said, okay. And um, he said, I'll be there in 10 minutes. And I said, okay. So that was the end of the dream. And I, whenever I dream of laundry, I know that the Lord, it means that the Lord is cleaning up my thoughts. He's cleaning up my act. He's cleaning up my behavior and toward this certain situation. And by me, it, the basket that I was putting it in, it was an older basket. Like I had used this basket before. So though I was cleaning up my act and cleaning up my behavior, I was trying to put it into an old basket, like putting new wine into old, um, um, wine skins. And the Lord was saying to me what I have for you and what I'm processing for you. And this transaction is about to come. And when it meets earth, I don't need you to put it into an old perspective. I don't need you to put it into an old mindset. And he's actually giving me revelation as I'm speaking to you. But he said, I don't want you to put into an old mindset, an old way of thinking, an old way of doing things, because this is clean laundry. This is good laundry. It is fresh. And you don't want to put it into an old thing because that basket may not be big enough to continue what I'm giving you you know what I mean yes you can't look at it like oh this is the same you know so I, I just hope that that um encourages you and in some type of way but we can't doubt God and we can't question the process um we have to get better and not bitter you know when David was when Saul came to anoint David you know what I mean? Saw, um, saw when Samuel came to anoint David, you know, Samuel could have been killed for anointing a king before the other king was even off the throne. But, you know, they obviously, the Lord said, put forth a sacrifice and they did that. But you have to understand, David did not go right into, um, being a king, you know, um, and, and even the, uh, even Samuel, he thought that another son was going to be chosen. And God said to him, don't look at the outside appearance. Don't look at what it looks like, um, Samuel. Don't do not do that because that's not who I've chosen. You know, he had actually chosen De Jesse. I mean, um, David, um, the youngest. So, you know, things can look weird and it can look like as God is processing, bringing the promise to pass, it can look a little weird, it can look a little foggy. And that's when we have to lean on the Lord the most because that's when the enemy comes with his tricks and he starts to tell you lies and he starts to bring up memories of things and you start to think of the negative. Of, and I think we bring up the negative and we have negative thoughts in our heads because we want to sort of push it away. Like, oh, that's not what he meant so that we can just go ahead and accept the disappointment and move on. But we don't have to do that. Um, because the Lord is going to take care of us. Um, we have to um, just trust him while he's doing that, while he's removing Saul out of office and um, putting us in. We have to be okay with that. And um, all we need to do, because preparation is the key, we just have to be prepared while we're doing that. You know what I mean? David was appointed to watching the sheep. You know, and he just, you know, he probably got frustrated at times. He's just watching the clock tick and he's like, boy, my, my boy, I wish I could be like my brothers. But that was an appointed time for him. And um, we just have to trust him in the process. So let's say a quick prayer. And I hope that this encouraged someone. I, I know it encourages me. But Father God, I thank you, Father God, for these words, Father God. Father God, while we are trusting you and we're allowing you to stretch our faith and we're allowing you to prepare us for more and for bigger, Father God, as it is being received on earth as it is in heaven, Father God, as this transaction is taking place in the name of Jesus, Father. Don't let us watch the clock, Father God, out of frustration, but us, let us watch the clock out of anticipation, Father God that you're going to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we can even ask or think in the name of Jesus, Father. Don't let us grow weary, Father God, in well-doing, Father God, but let us trust the Holy Spirit to guide us at all times, knowing that the God, Holy Spirit is on our side, that love is on our side, Father God, that you're with us, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, because the spirit of truth comes and it will guide us into all truth, Father God, and it would only speak, Father God, the things that you have spoken to the Holy Spirit, Father God, and he will tell us what is yet to come, Father God. And Father, we don't have to worry about anything, Father, because we're covered in the blood of Jesus, Father God. And all things are working together for our good, Father God. So as these manifestations come to part, Father God, and come about, Father God, 
as the prodigals become begin to come home father god i pray over every one father god that has an anointing over a marriage of marriage over their lives father god as it come forth in the name of jesus father god i pray that you dispatch your angels father to go father and make the crooked path straight father god for us in the name of jesus and make a way out of no way jesus as we roll upon father god these winter weddings and these winter engagements jesus glory to god help us be prepared father god help us to be ready father god for what you have in the name of jesus i feel the presence of the Lord of me now in the name of Jesus as he's releasing a flow of love he's releasing a flow of marriages and a flow of engagements and a flow of businesses and ideas like never before father god in the name of jesus he was leasing his presence father god in the name of jesus the enemy comes in like a flood but the lord lifts up a standard in the name of jesus he's a good god father god and we receive all that you have for us father he says no matter what it looks like no matter what you think and no matter what it feels like he says these things will come to pass he says don't get tired in the name of jesus he's going to strengthen us father god i pray for a spirit of strength refresh us jesus refresh our souls father god let us walk in joy and have happiness and encouragement in these times father god is the traction transactions being processed through us in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen have a blessed day